Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video and welcome back to Lee 2 Predictions. Um, this video is sponsored by LOL T-Shirt Company. Um, if you may have heard of them, they sell my merch. The link for my merch is down in the description below, so feel free to check out after watching this video. Um, there's only 8 games this week due to the FA Cup. So... You know, please feel free to put it down in the comments below. Would you like to see more of these? I mean, I'm not talking about League 2, League 1 Championship and more clubs getting knocked out of the FA Cup. Please feel free to put it down in the comments below. But um, anyway, guys, you know what I do. So, guys, you know what to do. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. And let's go. So, the first game I'm going to talk about is Chapman versus Oldham. Um, Oldham loses 2 0 at home to Scunthorpe. Um, not a bad day there for Oldham, if I'm all honest. Um, Scunthorpe have been coming into their own recently. Um, Cheltenham 1-1 one, one away to Newport. Um, probably a good point for Cheltenham as well, because I know how well Newport can play, even though they haven't really been shining it this season. Going forward, you've got Oldham in 20th. They've won two games out of their last five. Um, Cheltenham have not won out of their last five. So you're going forward with this game and Oldham probably just coming in with a little bit more confidence considering they got them two wins quite a couple of weeks back now, but two wins are two wins. Um, so going forward with this one, I'm going to go for a 2-1 Oldham win. My next one is Crawley versus Forest Green. Um, let's go to the results first. Crawley 1-1 one, one away to Colchester. Um, great point for Crawley there. Um, obviously, you're the real Crawley fans you can tell me what that point feels like. Um, but in my opinion, that is a great point for uh, Crawley. Um, Forest Green losing 1 0 at home to Exeter. This point, they have Forest Green. Um, looking at their forms tables, Forest Green have only won one game out of their last five. Crawley have only won one, one game out of their last five, but Crawley have drawn the last two. Whereas Forest Green have won one and lost one in the last two. So both these teams probably going with a bit of narrow confidence, you know, a bit bit low. Um both teams should probably do it for raising confidence, but they can only do it themselves. Going forward, I'm gonna go for a one all scoreline for that one. My next one is Macclesfield versus Cambridge. Um let's go to the scores first. Cambridge losing 3 2 at home to Mansfield. Um, try and sum that up on a Cambridge point of view. Probably ain't too bad. Um, where are Mansfield anyway? Seventeenth. Uh, so yeah, probably weren't too bad. Um, but you know it happens. Um, Macclesfield two two away. Um, to Port Vale. So a great point for Macclesfield. Um, hoping that they. Uh, Hoping their financial troubles can get sorted out very soon. Going f looking at this game, I'm just trying to stop repeating myself. Um, you know, looking at this game, it's I can only see this going one way. I mean, Cambridge have only won one game in their last five. Macclesfield have not won in their last five. But I think that draw's got to be key for Mac uh, for Macclesfield. Um, so for this one, I'll go for a one-all scoreline for that one. My next one is Mansfield versus Grinsby. Um, Mansfield, Grinsby um, winning 1-0 at home to Salford City. So a great three points there for Grinsby. Mansfield beating Cambridge 3-2 away from home. Great three points for uh, Mansfield. You're going forward into this game you know as probably slight favourites probably Grinsby will be um, you know let's not beat around the bush I mean Grinsby are in 18th there's Mansfield are uh, 17th so this is a bit of a tight clash in the table Grinsby only winning one in their last five same as Mansfield so, you know, both of these teams got to be going in. Probably, yeah, again, a bit low on confidence. Um, which one will I go for? A very boring 0 0 scoreline for that one. My next one is Salford City versus Walsall. Um, 
Walsall beating Lake Norman 1 0 at home, so a great three points for Walsall. Salford losing 1 0 away from home to Grimsby. Um, going forward, this game, Walsall are in 15th, Salford are up in 11th, very tight. Um, but because of Walsall have won two in their last five. Salford have also done the same. So it's going to be pretty tight this one. But I'm going to go for a 2-1 Walsall win. My next one is Scunthorpe versus Plymouth Argyle. Plymouth Argyle is a 2-1 at home to Swindon Town. Probably won't be too downhearted if I was a Plymouth fan there. Um, but as I said, you're the real fans. You can tell me how you feel. Um, Scunthorpe losing, uh, sorry, Scunthorpe winning 2 0 old and over Old and Athletic away from home. Great three points for Scunthorpe. Um, Scunthorpe have really came into their own the past few weeks. Um, I'm just looking at their form table. You've got Scunthorpe won two in the last five, and Plymouth have also won three in the last five. So Plymouth might just be slightly more up on the confidence going forward. Um, but I'm going to go for a 1 0 Plymouth Argyle win. My next one is Stevenage versus Colchester. Um, Colchester 1 1 at home to Crawley Town. Stevenage losing 1 0 away from home from, to Northampton Town. If I was a Stevenage fan, I would not be too downhearted about that Northampton Town result. Northampton Town have come into their world of their own over the past couple of months. Um, I remember doing these predictions and, you know, saying they're going to lose week in, week out. And they've sort of turned that corner. Um, so fair play to Northampton Town. Um, yet again, going forward, you've got Stevenage have not won in the game in their last five. Colchester have won two in their last five and not lost. So I'm going to go for a 2-1 Colchester win. My last one for this weekend, obviously only eight is Swindon Town versus Bradford. Um, Swindon Town uh, beating Plymouth 2-1 away from home. Um, Bradford beating Morecambe 1-0 at home. Now, this game, I think it's going to be quite an interesting one. Um, Swindon Town winning three games out of their last five. Bradford very much, well, nearly doing the same. I've just won two out of their last five, but drawn three. Going forward with this game, um, I'm, I'm going to call it a one-all scoreline for that one. I can't call it anything else. Um, I'm really am stuck on that, but I'll go for a one-all scoreline for that one, like I just said. Um, but anyway, guys, short little video, eight fixtures. One of you guys asked me to do it, so you know, if you want me to do any other videos, please feel free to put it down in the comments below. But guys, anyway, you know what to do. So a big fat fun if you enjoy it. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Ciao for now.